in order to further improve global awareness and cybersecurity in 2009. President Barack Obama called for increased education and cyber awareness campaign. This led to the National Cybersecurity Awareness Month in October every year. To highlight the relevance of this, the United States Consulate in Nigeria invited stakeholders, students, and the media to the 2017 Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Speaking at the event, the U.S. Consular General noted that every year, billions of dollars are lost to the tune of about six trillion annually. Every year, billions of dollars are lost through cyber crimes. Cyber Security Ventures, which is a private uh, enterprise in the United States, predicts that the global community will lose more than six trillion annually by 2021. These worrisome experts have forecast that nearly half of the economy to the G20 countries may be lost to cyber crimes if much is not done. This, they say, remains a serious concern to the realization of the Internet of Things if something is not done. What do you do with your mobile phone? For adults, what's the main thing you would probably do? It's mobile banking. A lot of people have moved to the mobile banking. I, I, I'm in a group now in Nigeria. What we see the criminals move to is mobile banking, and that's where you're paying when you get your paychecks when you're paying your bills, that is becoming the number one platform that these groups are moving to. So be aware, mobile banking is a hotbed of criminal activity where the old days of emails have kind of moved away, and it's your mobile banking that they're targeting. How they get into it is a variety of methods. I don't want to go into the specifics, but the key thing is, if your phone is not protected like your home computer, how, much, how vulnerable is that? Just think of your phone as a computer. If you don't have the software updated, if you don't have the right security, your phone can be hacked and targeted with, with it by the criminals just like a home computer. And if that phone is compromised, your banking can be compromised, your social media is compromised, and just like you watched in the videos earlier, that can impact your family, your life, your job, in the future, how you, how you interact. So always be aware, the criminal elements here in West Africa are targeting mobile devices. And for the children, how many of the, the students here have a mobile phone or access to a mobile phone? According to reports from FBI, the average age of cyber crimes is between ages 19 and 29, which is the most productive bracket of youth. Other speakers at the forum admonished internet users to be cautious while online, especially on the social media. When you go online, there are a lot of things that you have to understand the etiquette, especially when you are using uh, especially mobile, mobile phone, computer, the social media, especially for the things you need to understand the principle of information security. When you go on the internet, you don't just share information. There are people go on the internet today, you share confidential information about your organization, you share a lot of confidential information about your family. By, do, by so doing, you have compromised yourself. So, cyber hectics, we must understand what must be done. You don't go on the internet to, to pull somebody, you not know, to cyber bullying as a thing. You don't start chatting with people and start you know, raising abusive words. And again, you don't propagate and populate virus on the internet. Zena Police Public Relations Officer also speaks on cyber crimes. I want to say uh, that in 2015 we are all aware of the Cyber Crime Prohibition Prevention Act that was passed uh, by the legislative hand of the government and then uh, was assented to by the presidency. And now it's ongoing and then we are keen into it. Yes, a lot of people want to think they are not hearing from the police. We've been hearing EFCC, EFCC, EFCC going after this. I want to say that um, uh, EFCC is an extension of uh, the police, you all know. Uh, that's what the night time will do. Uh, we are all aware of that. A lot of the uh, operatives there are from the Nigerian police because I think about 70% of them are from the Nigerian police force. So uh, the police still go after all these uh, hilarious perpetrators uh, of cyber uh, misuse. 